And so I'm going to go now with my choice for who I think is best, and I think Batman is the better character, specifically since the Frank Miller relaunch of Batman in the 80s and into the 90s was just fantastic. Um, that really was the... So you have Watchmen in the, in the middle of the 80s, which really represented kind of what happens if Batman is taken to its most logical conclusion. What, happen if, is, what happens if you have a bunch of vigilantes that just decide they know the law better than anybody else and they're going to go enforce it? And Watchmen is that story, and I love Watchmen, so that's, that's why I'm bringing that up. That seems to be um, uh, Alan Moore's answer to Batman. Um, if, we, if, if everybody just becomes Batman and we have all these vigilantes out there trying to fend for themselves, then what we end up with is kind of chaos, right? Um, at least that's Alan Moore's point. But i got to tell you, if, whether Alan Moore is right or not, and I do love Watchmen, Batman, Frank Miller's Batman is amazing. It is this vigilante justice not going to be taken lightly. He's going to find what he needs to find. And he's going to take out the criminals, and he's going to do it in a way that is a little, certainly is a, a tremendous departure from Adam West, right? I mean, that's not the Adam West character of old. It's not standing up there, you know, being the, the kind of uh, uh, knighthood, uh, chivalry, the, the Dark Knight character of Frank Miller is a lot darker. And I think that's exactly why the movies that have been launched from Batman recently are so awesome. And I would say so much better than the Tobey Maguire you know, Spider-Man movies uh, of late, which, tr trust me, I definitely enjoyed in and of themselves, but they, there's just not, there's no comparison to the new Batman movies. I think they really are spectacular. Although I would say I love the Michael Keaton Batman, maybe best of all. Um, I really do think the new Batman with Christian Bale does kind of fall short of that character, but the movies in total, no comparison to me. It is absolutely all about Batman. So for, for my money, in terms of coolness factor, in terms of being kind of the best superhero, and we, we, you guys talked a little bit about that in the comments, about what that really means, I've got to go with Batman overall. So there you have it, guys. Read them and weep. You guys all you had some tremendous arguments out there. Like I said, I read every single bit of it. Awesome job. But I'm going with Batman, hands down, specifically the, the Frank Miller reboot. And so now I wanted to uh, depart a little bit from that and move into a question that hopefully will get a little bit more of a deeper conversation going. Uh, not that I don't love the, the versus battles uh, as ringers, and you guys know that from the past, but also I really love to be able to, to, to stimulate some, some thoughts about what's going on with technology and uh, all kinds of different things. Maybe ask uh, some bigger questions a la the, the last week's ringer surrounding Watson. So this week we had a very, very big announcement that's been anticipated for a very long time. And some of you probably were paying attention. Some of you could probably care less, okay? That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But love it, hate it, or anything in between, you have to reckon with the iPad. And this week we had the announcement of the iPad 2. Now, lots of interesting um, developments surrounding the iPad 2. Lots of criticism levied Apple's way. Lots of praise levied Apple's way in the wake of the iPad 2 announcement. So this week for the Weekly Ringer, I wanted to ask you a question that some of you uh, might have the greatest opinion about because you already own an iPad. Some of you could, could have very valid opinions never having touched an iPad in your life um, since, it's, since it's been out. But I wanted to ask you a question about the iPad 2 specifically this week for the Weekly Ringer series, and it goes something like this. Is there anything about the iPad 2 that makes you want one over the original iPad? In other words, is it closer to the mark of getting it to where you're interested in buying a tablet PC? Or if you own an original iPad or another tablet, does the iPad 2 present something that maybe hits closer to the mark that you'd want to buy it? Um, or buy it over the, the, the tablet PC you currently use. This is not a critique necessarily of tablet PCs, although I'm sure all of you are going to talk about that, and that's great. I want to hear what, what your arguments are for and against tablet PCs as well. But let's specifically gear this toward the iPad too. Is there anything on the table with it 
and go out there and maybe I'll provide some links for you just to, to, to understand a few things about it. But is there anything about the iPad 2 specifically that makes, that would necessarily say, you know what, I gotta have one of those. Maybe I could, didn't need to have one before, but I gotta have one now. And if so, or if not, why? Why or why not would you, would you pick up the iPad 2 over the iPad 1 or an, an original, a tablet that you've already had? Okay, that is the question for the Weekly Ringer this week. And, and one of the reasons why I ask about it, guys, is because there's a lot of interesting ideas stemming from the Apple event about a post-PC world. Now, I'm interested in those kinds of questions, but I really want to understand why, what you guys think about having the tablet PC in general and, and why it is viable or not viable moving forward. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of good conversation around this. So I'm very excited to hear what you all have to say about it. So thank you all for your comments as always. I, I, and thank you for watching the videos, obviously. Keep those comments coming this week and let me know just what you think about that iPad 2 and what you think uh, the future might hold for tablet PCs in general. So that is the Weekly Ringer for this 12th installment. I am the Commodore from the Clan of the Gray Wolf, and there is no reset button.